Hello students, I am Dr. Kanwar Vishash and I am welcoming all my channel chemistry and history of molecules. I hope you all are fine. So today we are going to learn about dimethyl sulfoxide D6 or dimethyl D6. It's an another very highly useful NMR solvent. So we will discuss how this is prepared. So let's see. This is DMSO. That means dimethyl sulfoxide looks this. Why dimethyl? So see, one methyl, two methyl, and this is sulfoxide. That's why it's here. So what we are going to prepare this deuterium version means this all six proton will be replaced by six deuteriums. So for that purpose, what we need? We need a deuterium reagent and that is nothing but D2O. Remember D2O is the source of deuterium in our planet Earth and from sea water we can extract it. Now then in presence of any catalyst. So just before uh, I say the catalyst, let me give you a clue. Now if just remember, just compare this with this. See, here, here the carbon is replaced by sulfur. So can you guess what, what nature? Acidic, basic, neutral, which acidic, any catalyst? Please pause the video and write in the comment box. What's your guess? Now, so this is the thing now I can, I think you can guess because in, I have previously discussed this acetone D6 preparation. This, this. So that where I have explained basic catalyst like lithium hydroxide in D2. So what happens? First, enolate generated. That is a reversible reaction, and that is quenched. That takes deuterium by this, and this carbon deuterium bond is relatively stable compared to carbon hydrogen bond. So after time by time, the concentration of carbon deuterium bond increases, uh, and ultimately it converted into this CG three O. Okay. So this is the same concept. Same is used here, and in this case, what is used? In this case, the cap or the base is used calcium hydroxide. Okay, but compared to acetone, the main advantage of deuterium is its heat because the boiling point of deuterium means DMSO is near about 189 degrees centigrade. So up to boiling point, you can do very well, and boiling point of water is 100 something. So means near about 100, all the reagent will be in liquid state. That's an advantage. High temperature means easy to do the process. Now, in presence of base, what happens? The simple process like, so first step I am showing. So in case of sulfuryl ides, you have also observed such kind of things. I shall provide the link I have already discussed in my presence. Now, you compare this thing with carbonyl. Means one resonance, possible resonance structure could be that this bond can give here and it can open. So what this, so this is like a, Stabilization of phenolate. This C H three. Okay, so in this way it is stabilized. Fine. In next step, what it does? It takes proton from deuterium DOD. So this and what it produces? C H two D. This C H three. Now, as I told, the deuterium bond is stable. So slowly, 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 slowly. First, all will be converted into, all will be converted into, up to this is very fine and one hydrogen. Now, this is the interesting part and later on, in presence of base and water, it will convert. Now, you may think that, sir, in the first stage of reaction, this is calcium hydroxide you have taken, but in previous case, lithium deuterium oxide, deuterium oxide you have taken, but what is the difference? See, this also taken very large excess. So, during the reaction, exchange happens. And there are very few number of OH in the reaction medium. So what happens? So first of all, it may produce water, but that amount is very negligible with respect to the amount of D2O present in the reaction medium. So probability of reaction of D means deuterium D2O with the carbon ion is more compared to the water or HO2. Okay. So that's why reaction will follow this track and ultimately this will result in this. Now, so in this way we can prepare and you can say that said there could be some amount of impurity of up to this obviously there is present and that is advantageous. So by the way for high school student I shall say this is up to up to this for enough for you. Now I am going, going to explain any spectroscopy which is not in your syllabus. Now fine. So now what is the advantage of this and about another animal spectroscopy. So advantage of this is that pure this compound is NMR inactive. But this is NMR active because there is one hydrogen. Okay, so that's why 
we get a signal near about I guess 2.5. So that is the thing solvent peak for proton NMR spectroscopy. So this is if you look at the proton NMR, this is actually a pentate or quintate. Why 5? Because this proton is attached to the carbon which is attached to 2 deuterium. And we know the formula is 2Ni plus 1. And for deuterium, means for proton NMR, uh, in this case, this deuterium, I equal to 1 for deuterium. So in this case, and here, uh, means 2 are there. So overall 2 into 2 plus 1, 4 equal to 5. So that's why this is painted or painted. So this is for this proton NMR. But, but in case of 13C NMR, that is little different. Please try to understand. 13C NMR peak comes for this G6 species. What do I say? In proton NMR, this is NMR inactive because no proton there. But in 13C NMR, this is NMR active because carbon 13 is there. Now you can say that, sir, it is also there. Obviously, yes. But remember, carbon 13 is not quantitative. So whatever there in the reaction medium will be observed in the 13 C in means what is the more, more amount that will be observed. This is in more, this is the impurity. So in proton NMR, this is inactive, that's why we are getting this. But in 13 C NMR, since this is active, this why what happens? See, in this case, deuterium, same 2 Ni plus 1. So in this case, there are 3 deuterium attached. So 2 into 3 plus 1. Now what it will produce? 7 means 7. Okay. So near about 39 point something, I guess near about 40, I forgot exactly. So uh, 39.5 near about 3 pm. This gives NMR peak 7. So I guess majority of students make mistake. What is the proton NMR peak? If it is painted, DMSO D6 gives proton NMR solvent peak near about 2.5 ppm painted. Whereas it gives 39.5 ppm in 13 cinema, it's a separate. Why? I think you should not make any mistake because sir, this question could be answered in your viva. Okay. So in overall, what we have learned. Another thing I forget to mention. So this is we have understood. Now how to purify the DMSO D6. Just look at it. it's boiling. DMSO is boiling point near about 189. So you can expect this near about 200 is boiling point. Fine. So this much. In the reaction medium, what is there? In the reaction medium, this there DMSO will not be there because generally reagents are taken in less amounts such that complete the, the proton replacement by deuterium could occur. So in reaction medium, there will be this uh, DMSO D6, there will be water and calcium hydroxide. It's a salt, so it will not vaporize. Now composition is D2O versus this. D2O boiling point near about 100, 101 degrees centigrade, you may consider. I'm not sure, like that, closer to that. And it is near about 200, so you can easily separate this DMSO D6 from the reaction. Okay.